Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. So I have been getting a lot of messages from people saying that are the data analyst jobs really going to be dead in future? Is there any scope for this? Is there any scope for learning the data analysis or business analyst in general? So I have been getting a lot of DMs like that and it's been a year that I have not given a response to those DMs because I wanted to create a video on the same. So yeah, here it is. Basically, uh, we have been searching a lot about data analysis from past 3-4 years and a lot of people have been transitioned to data by learning the skills, by continuously preparing for it, by applying to the jobs on data analysis. But there are a lot of people who are still not able to make it to the data analysis industry and they have this confusion or someone who is just starting out to become a data analyst. They still have a confusion whether they would be considered for analysis role in future if they start preparing now. So what is in general what is the scope of data analysis in future and uh, yeah this is kind of like make you feel confused when you apply to a lot of jobs in one single day. For example I have been seeing a lot of people who are not able to make it. I have those queries in my DMs, in my Gmail, in my mailbox saying that they have been applying to these jobs and still not able to make it. So there are reasons for that and I just want to uh, disclose those reasons here only. Major reason for this is a lot of people have started preparing for data analyst jobs and the demand is very high, no doubt, but the number of applicants for these roles and the number of people who are learning data analysis is quite larger than what we expect. So this is kind of creating frustration among a lot of people. This we all know if we have indulged in the data analytics industry, if we have involved ourselves we know that the demand is very high, but the number of applicants applying to one single job is very high, which is kind of making it impossible to get that one single job in data analytics industry. But this is not actual reality of it. You can get data analysis is required in any in every kind of industry, whether you work on application support, whether you work on cloud, whether you in general work on the finances, everywhere data is involved and data is required. So we are just mindfully applying to those jobs which requires knowledge of SQL, Excel, Power BI, Python, Tableau. We know these skills as a data analyst, but we are only accustomed to apply to the jobs that solely says that you are required to get a job for data analyst. But there are roles that have different names. I'll tell you, there is a role called business intelligence analysis. A lot of less people apply to those jobs. There are roles such as operations analyst. Very less number of people are applying to those roles. I have the bigger MNCs. Like I have known bigger MNCs who continuously apply for uh, roles of analysis and their jobs still, they are not still hiring, they are not still been able to hire a single individual for analyst position. But the reason behind that is they require additional skills such as whether it's cloud, whether it's application tech support, there are applications that are there in uh, IT. We use those applications, we use those tools, very less number of people are known to those tools and they don't know how to operate those tools but you will be operating a certain application wherein you will be working 40 percent there and you will be working 60 percent of the time on the data so this is also one kind of data analysis that you can do the demand is still high in the data analytics industry is just that we are not aware of the tools or the cloud platforms or the actual application or support uh, projects or platforms that we should know to enter into the analytics industry as a fresher. So I'm gonna just name a few, but I think you should make your, do your own research. Just go and research it out on Nokri or on LinkedIn, search for roles on the bigger MNCs that are solely for fresher. For example, I was searching role for fresher in the Accenture and there I found out that you should know SAP. You should know either AWS or Azure or GCP just to begin the data analysis in the application support system. So I would highly encourage you learning those tools, those technologies first and then learning these all of these data analysis tools or technologies just to get that one job and get that job that pays you really quite well because the jobs that are solely there for data analysis that requires minimal skills such as SQL, Excel, Power BI, Tableau, they are not going to pay you a lot that you expect from data analysis because the as the demand is high and the supply is also very high it makes recruiters to like give you a lesser package than you what you expect so please skill up and please do like reskilling of your all the tools that you've learned do the reskilling and please start learning more and you will eventually realize that your worth is more than what you think of 
So I think this was it for this video. I hope I made you clear that data analysis is not dying in the industry. It's that we have to search from different names, different angles. We have to add in more technologies to it so that we would be an asset to the organization where we should uh, start working on it. So yeah, this was it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you still have any query, suggestion or doubt, you can write it in the comment section below. I would highly appreciate your time in writing such comment. It, it actually makes my day. Thank you for watching. Bye.